forgive the dog noise, but um. Anyway, these cases overrated. I mean, these cases are such a disappointment. This is the Ghost Tech Nautical for the Note 8. Yeah, I got a Note 8. Whoopee, I upgraded to a Note 8. I still have my S8 active. I'm going to give to my brother. I like the Note 8 so far. I was able to tweak it. I get like 6 hours of screen on time. You know, 15 to 70 hours off the charger with Greenify and BK Disabler, the package disabler, disable bloatware. So battery life is fine. I mean, not as good as the S8 Active, but still, look at these cases. These are waterproof cases. And I know what you're thinking. Why would you buy a waterproof case for an already water-resistant phone? For a already, oh, excuse me, not water-resistant, for a quote-unquote waterproof phone. Listen, when it comes to water resistance on phones, people are fucking ignorant. They are absolutely ignorant. They think since the phone's got an IP68 rating, they think, hey, I can submerge it in water. The phone's not going to break. The phone can break in the water. The seals do wear down over time, and... Chlorine and salt water corrode ports, and a matter of fact, they also corrode the seals, too. So eventually, your phone's going to break, which is why if you want to go swimming, you get a waterproof case. These cases, I got two of them, and they broke. Yeah, the S Pen flap. You can focus there. This is in 4K, too, so... Make sure you focus, autofocus, do your thing. You see there's a crack. I dropped it on its sides. I did a corner impact drop. The S Pen flap came wide open. And it cracked the case. That's one nautical. Here's the other one. Open the S Pen flap. Another crack. The phone didn't crack. It saved my phone from the impact, but it cracked. Both of them cracked, so they're no longer waterproof. And it sucks too. I'm using a different waterproof case. Um, it's actually a better waterproof case now. It can't, it's not tested for 20 feet for an hour like these cases, but these cases are just problematic. I had no issue with sound or microphone echo because I installed the phone's top first. But if you're getting a case for your Note 8, do not get this case. It is very problematic. The thing I do like about this case is the bezels. That's the thing I like about the case are the bezels. It has very nice raised bezels. They're hard plastic. They're polycarbonate bezels, which is nice. And one thing I like about it too is um, if you put your Note 8 in there, the corners, there's a little gap in the corners. So your phone, so basically absorb the air, absorbs the impact. Now, and it can be submerged in 20 feet of water for an hour. But I do a drop test on tile floor, not concrete, tile. I guess it is concrete, but it's not very hard, very smooth. It is hard, but still cracked, cracked. And not to mention, look at the fucking back plate. There is no cutout for the flash. Now, the waterproof case I have right now, I forgot what brand it is. It's a generic Chinese, cheap Chinese waterproof case. It's actually pretty good, though, believe it or not. And it has a cutout for the flash. When you take pictures with this thing, you're going to get a blue halo or a kind of blue. The photos will get blurry and it'll, and 
the photos look very blue. Not to mention the fingerprint scanner is slightly misaligned. Ghost tech. What the hell were you thinking? Let's see if I have the box. Hold on. Sorry, I don't want to edit that out because I'm fucking lazy, but... Three times military standard drop tested. If it really is military drop tested, then why did the polycarbonate plastic break on the S Pen? Matter of fact, I believe this one Oh, look at this one. You see this? I should have fucking recorded it. But my Note 8's my only camera. I know that sucks, but it is what it is. You claim your case is three times the military standard, yet it can't survive, the case can't survive a drop on tile. Imagine dropping it on concrete. The S Pen flap just came wide open and the case cracked. I'm not very happy. Not at all. I might try to get a refund. But yeah, this Ghost Tech, you need to fucking improve your product. You really do, because this is ridiculous.